first point I would like to address today is the integration between refining and petrochemical assets. Even though the price of crude oil seems to stabilize between 50 and 60 dollars per barrel, 2017 remains a year with possible major price fluctuations. Global fuel demand growth should settle at 0.8%, whereas the petrochemical market should grow by 4%. In these conditions, and more than ever, the integration between refining and petrochemical site is required. First, to mitigate risk related to raw material and product prices variations, but also to overcome market trend changes. And finally, to improve assets profitability. The second point I would like to highlight now is air quality. For more than 20 years now, gasoline and diesel have been reformulated and their sulfur content have been reduced in order to lower the level of airborne pollutants. Accents has greatly contributed to these uh, trends and we are proud of that. To curb air pollution, which has reached alarming levels in Indian and Chinese city, Governments are aggressively implementing fuel quality standards which are equivalent to Euro 6 specifications. For instance, this year in China, on road fuels should contain less than 10 ppm sulfur, and by 2020, Indian refiners will have to produce Barat 6 standard fuel equivalent to a Euro 6. Another very important news for air quality is the recent confirmation by the International Maritime Organization that the sulfur content of marine bunker fuels will be globally capped at 0.5% by 2020 instead of 3.5% currently. Those new regulations will require investment in additional hydroprocessing capacities. The last point I would like to highlight now is climate change. According to the International Energy Agency, energy efficiency is one of the major levers to save direct greenhouse gas emissions. Energy consumption represents one to two thirds of the total operating cost of a refinery. It means that every fraction of energy saving is not only a way to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, but also a way to create value. In order to tackle these challenges, and based on this strong knowledge on process and technology, Accents has developed a new approach, SEED, standing for custom and efficient early design. At the beginning of the basic engineering stage of a unit, the specific env environmental constraints of the operators are identified. It could be CO2 emission, water footprint, or energy efficiency. Then, a study is conducted by Accents in a collaborative mode to elaborate and evaluate several tailor-made options. This approach ensures that at the end, the option that will be selected is based on solid foundation, optimizing both the environmental and economic aspects of the project.